All right, welcome everyone. This is the mock interview series for SOC analyst and security analyst ro job role. With me, I have Jamin Patak. He will be the interviewer for this series, and I'll be the candidate. Uh, before we go ahead and start this mock interview, please make sure you subscribe the channel and um, please do that because this will definitely boost our confidence to keep making such videos every other day. All right, so let's get started, guys. Um, hi, Jamin. How are you? I'm good, Rajnish. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, Rajnish, uh, today's questions are on patch management. Okay. My first question is, what is the difference between patch management and vulnerability management? Well, uh, vulnerability management is all about uh, finding the vulnerability, discovering the vulnerabilities. Okay. So, uh, as a part of vulnerability management, uh, we find out if uh, if we find out the list of vulnerabilities on all our hardware, uh, software, web application, router switches, and everything. Once we find these vulnerability, then we perform the risk assessment. Okay, uh, or I would say the risk management. In the in that phase, we actually run a formula called likelihood uh, of the attack, and then the impact of the attack okay so likelihood uh, is is more of related to uh vulnerability what are the vulnerability how 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 confident are we that this might might uh, reoccur and impact is about uh, uh what would be the business loss based on this we might uh, we can uh, we can come to a conclusion if the risk is high medium or low so if it is a high risk then we can take a call whether to patch this vulnerability, uh, maybe upgrading the system, uh, or maybe having a patch, uh, maybe on Microsoft software, Adobe software, or we can implement a compensating controls. Uh, it, these kind of controls are used when we don't have a proper fix or a patch available. Can be used just to buy extra time before we before we uh, eventual uh remediation can be applied right and the third kind of thing is the accepting the risk is like digesting the risk right now if we plan to go for a patch installing a patch that's from there from there the patch management starts so if we plan to do the patch management then in the patch management we decide how what are the different phases we should go for uh how we should plan the patch where uh, downloading the patch software from their official website and then doing uh, doing the pilot of patch installation to some system and then installing it to the all the machine then so it it has a, a lot of differences but it all start with vulnerability management first then we uh, perform the risk assessment then if we decide to go for a patch then we start the patch management so that's the difference here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how do you perform this patch management? So basically it all, uh, uh, as a part of a process, uh, usually it is, it is being, uh, it, it is, it is managed by the system admin, but start with creating an inventory of a standard item. Uh, we create this, uh, inventory of all the, uh, systems from hardware to software to uh, different operating system, different software and license software update and everything. Then we collect those information from uh, on the software patches and vulnerabilities. So once uh, it has been asked to perform the patch, we we look at, uh, we go to their official website, look at the CVE information, download the uh, patch from Microsoft, Cisco, or uh, Adobe or any other their, their official website, uh, determine their vulnerability, assign the relevancy, filter out the endpoint. Then we utilize the test lab setting where we install the patch in our own lab. And then we see if, if the software is behaving properly or is, it's misbehaving. Then we have security team to evaluate the stability of the patch. And then we do the review, approval, mitigation, and everything. And then we conduct a test deployment uh, for some patches. Maybe if let's say we have 3000 machines that are impacted because of this, 
this vulnerability. So we can probably install the patch in first maybe 50 to 60 machine, and we can see that it's stability. And then once it is done, then we do the uh, documentation uh, pre and post patching. So that's that's usually is the process. So yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Then can you tell me some popular patch management tools? Yeah, there are many. I mean, uh, there, there's a, a Microsoft uh, Windows Server update service, uh, WSYS, and uh, this is very popular one. So this helps the admin to manage distribution of distribution of updates and patches on all different Microsoft products within the Windows environment. We also have IBM Big Flex. I think uh, uh, this has been acquired by SCL Tech probably. And uh, we also have uh, IVNT uh, patch management software, SolarWinds patch manager. Uh, there's also one by Manage Engine patch manager as well. So the, these are the few that I worked with. I very much, I have worked predominantly with the SolarWinds and Manage Engine uh, patch manager as well. So yeah. Got it. So Rajnish, this is all I have for today on patch management. Thank you for your time. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Javin. Now it's time for some demo. Um, let me get, share my screen. All right. So this is the uh, uh, Manage Engine Patch Manager, which I just said, which I said uh, uh, in the last question. Uh, you can see we have alert section. We have uh, patches here. Uh, missing patches, install patches, applicable patches. You can see the list of patch ID and uh, some required patch. So if those patch has been updated or not. So this get updated from the Windows system. And we can also see top priority patches based on the vulnerability. Okay. So you can filter out, filter the patches based on the vulnerability and decide which patch you should do first. Okay. Then you can look at the system inventory of uh, all the system in the network. What are some of the vulnerable system, highly vulnerable system, and system, overall system health. Uh, you can perform the scan system. And then we have deployment. From here, we can perform the patch management. OK, so as I said, you from here, you can see all the patch based on the all the inventories that you have. Once you finalize that, yes, this is the patch I want to go for then you can plan for deployment so you can come to the deployment phase here at test uh, you can possibly do the manual patch first and then you can test and approve as i said in the in the, in the earlier uh, questions as well that we have to do the test and approval phases we admin can test the uh, patch and ask the security team to do the testing and approval as well then you can also do the you can also automate the patch deployment as well, and you can see uh, some scripts which has been used. And then you once the patch has been done, you can look at the reports uh, for executive reports that should be shared with the uh, that this gives you the overall uh, reports and everything like this. Uh, then you have patch report based on applicable patches, supported patches configuration reports, system report, um, automate patch deployment report, schedule reports as well. You can see all the agent information and their, their overall health as well in the environment. So this is the Manage Engine uh, Patch Manager. I wanted to show you how exactly it looks like in the real world. I hope this was useful. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.